Hi, this is Dave from Debelli, NAM 2018. I'm with Jay today, Cork Guitars. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. Um, we're really excited to be here at 2018 NAM. Uh, Cord has put up a new booth and they're introducing a lot of new 2018 models, uh, some SKUs that we're very excited about. Uh, we'll start here first with the two different series of gold models. Last year we introduced the Gold 6, uh, which incorporated a dreadnought, orchestra, and grand auditorium shape. These did extremely well in the U.S. market, so much so that we decided to introduce a new family called the Gold 8s for 2018. So the body shapes are going to stay the same. You're going to have a Gold 8 as an auditorium model, you'll have a Gold 8 as a orchestra model, and a Gold D6 as the Dreadnought model. What's a little bit different this year from last year's models is that each one of these is still, um, it's actually going to use solid Pau Ferro back and sides. So with last year's model, we used the solid mahogany back and sides. Um, obviously, the different vintage burst that you get on the top is much different than the natural finish that we had last year. Um, you're still going to see a torrified Sitka spruce top, which is a feature that not many people are putting out, but uh, we call it age to vintage, so ATV top. Uh, so that would be our push there. Um, with the Grand Auditorium, you're going to find this guitar is going to come in around um, $10.99 in terms of street pricing. And then both for the orchestra and the Dreadnought models, again, all solid instruments, um, they're going to come in at $6.99 street. So we're pretty excited based on the success we saw last year with the six models. We think the eights are going to do even more. Um, so pretty excited to talk about those. And reasonable pricing considering the quality of court. Absolutely. When you look at Cord, a lot of folks know them as a manufacturer. Um, over the past several years, they've started becoming more interested not only in being an OEM manufacturer, but building their own brand here in the States. And, you know, the quality of the instruments definitely speaks for itself, and, and we're pretty excited to bring these to market. Gorgeous work. Let's move on to the next. All right, we're to check out the Court line of bases. Tell me about these. Yeah, absolutely. So what we have here are some new models, again, introduced for 2018. Um, we brought some prototypes to Bass Player Live earlier uh, last year in November, and we got uh, a wonderful response. I, th I think the easiest way to put it is a lot of folks said, hey, I started on court basses back in the 80s, and they were extremely surprised and delighted to see the quality of the instruments of what we're putting out today, and then obviously the, the really the change in what the brand has become. Um, so some of the new models that we're going to introduce this year are the single cut fan fret models, which you'll see behind us. We have an open pour natural, and then we have a um, blue faded uh, gray burst. So what's interesting about these models is it's the first time Court started to expand out into an extended range and things that you see on higher end boutique builders. Um, so the fan fret itself is going to be a 20, or I'm sorry, 35 and a half uh, to 34 inch scale. So obviously the difference in the string scale, a lot of people ask, what is the purpose of that? Um, easiest explanation is just true tonality and tuning on the instrument. When you think about a piano, every one of the strings is at a different length when it's wrapped through the piano. Obviously, you want to get the string to the proper length so that it is going to stay in tune. Um, what's what's going to be one of my favorite models, just looking at what we introduced, was the GB4 Limited. So the GB4 bases, um, very traditional shape, came out last year. We saw great success with the 74 and 75 models. They decided for the NAMM show they wanted to introduce a limited edition model that's going to have a solid Ziracati top. Um, swamp ash back and sides, and it's going to street for only $8.99. So, you know, high gloss finish, uh, Seymour Duncan pickups, and then an Omega bass bridge. Um, I, I, I will let the look speak for itself. <laughs> it is a gorgeous instrument, yes, yes. What else do we have here today? So down here we have a new instrument, it's going to be the B4FL. So the FL stands for fretless, it's a four string uh, fretless piezo pickup artisan series bass. So the shape may be familiar to you if you're purchasing artist bases, or I'm sorry, artisan bases or have seen those in the past. Um, but this new model is again uh, something that Court has been able to do for some time um, and is bringing to market for the first time in 2018. That's going to street at $7.99 this year. Gorgeous instrument, it really is. Uh, what else do we have here at the Court booth? Um, the, only, the other products we should probably take a look at are some of the uh, new acoustic models around the corner. So let's take a look at some of the acoustic uh, court models. Yeah, absolutely. So there's two different families we want to pay attention to in the new year. The first is going to be our new Easy Play series. Uh, the Easy Play was designed, obviously, with the beginner in mind, shorter scale. Um, we've introduced a 7 8 size dreadnought, so slightly larger than the Earth Minis and the AD Minis that have done really well for us, um, and then an AF505. So what we did is we changed the uh, scope of the neck, so obviously the overall feel of the neck is much easier for a younger player to get to. The string tension has changed, so it's easier to press down and actually fret the instrument 
instrument as a beginner. Um, and what's going to be great about these instruments is that they're priced right at a place where uh, a, a beginner does not seem overwhelmed and it's well within their budget. So um, with the AF505, uh, this is actually going to street at 119. And then over here with the solid top, this is the 7 8 Strednaught. Uh, this is going to street at 199. So when you look across the market, there's very few uh, instrument manufacturers that can get a solid top acoustic, whether it's a 7 8 or a full size, into that 199 price point. We're happy to say we're one of them. Again, gorgeous guitars. It's it's great that uh, you know the, the the kids are in mind here because that is the future, right? Absolutely. Without them, uh, this industry is going to have a hard uphill climb. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Right? Thank you, Dave.